Hi, this is Richard Byrne, and in this video we're going to take a look at Buncee and how easy it is to add media to slides inside of Buncee. Now you can use the commercial version of Buncee at Buncee.com or the education version at edu.buncee.com. Either way, the process is the same for dragging and dropping media into your slides. So I'm already signed in. Let's go ahead and create now. So it's going to launch our creation tool. And first, let's go in and choose a background for the slide. And you can see there's a whole bunch of cards here. Recently, we had Mother's Day here in the U.S., or in North America, I should say. And so there's a bunch of Mother's Day cards there. We also have uh, all kinds of other cards. You want to send a graduation invitation, you can do that. Uh, you can choose all kinds of stuff. You have a comic strip in the back as a background. You can let's choose that one for now. Okay. And we can apply this to all our slides or to just this one slide. So let's apply it to that. Okay. Now let's go ahead and add some media. Now this is where Buncee gets uh, really great because you can simply go in and say, all right, I want to add an animation. And we can see all kinds of animations. You know, we have uh, play. Let's say I'm going to do one about biking. All right, I like the biking one. So let's go ahead and use that one. And we'll just drag that one up. Okay. And now I can move it anywhere in the screen. And I can make it larger. So I'm going to put that right in the center. And now let's just add some more media. We can go in and we can add a YouTube video if we wanted to. Or if we wanted to use a video that's not on YouTube, we could go to Vimeo. And maybe we'll say uh, in the Tour de France. And we have all kinds of stuff here from the Tour de France, about the Tour de France. Uh, there we go. Let's use that one. And again, we can preview it. And if we like that one, we can go and move it into the frame and just click to expand as needed. So a really easy way to add media to your slides inside of Buncee. And of course you can use any of those other options as well in the exact same way. Just go in, choose the source that you want to use, and drag it into your slides. For more tips and tricks like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com.